It's great. Um, I do want to say this while on record, and I want to give a small little toast to Andy for joining us today. Yeah! yeah. Break the oh, that's right there. <laughs> that two liter of four. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to the Gamers Brewery. Yeah. My name is Andy Goss, and we are going to be doing a playthrough, or I am, of Friday the 13th for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Well, what are you also known as, Andy? Uh, I'm also known as Rafflecopter. Uh, <laughs> for those that don't know, uh, I make music and stuff. That was actually one of his songs that played. Um, earlier, yeah. Yeah. In the intro. Oh yeah, was yeah. Of that his, was me. That so was a sound clip for one of us. Yeah. We'll have a good. we'll have a link to. You have a Bandcamp, right? Yeah. We'll have earlier, a link to we'll have it there. Yeah. It's not a band, Oh no, not a Bandcamp. I have a SoundCloud. Maybe there if you we go. remember. <laughs> we'll have a link to something. I'll make a note of it. Maybe if we remember. <laughs> and also feel it's like it at the time. Be a link to a shitty JPEG. Never gonna give you the world. Let you down. Uh, so this game is uh, actually widely known as being a fucking complete, terribly ass <laughs> piece of shit game. Um, it's also known as being one of the hardest games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. On, uh, a, on a scale to Simon's Quest and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It is definitely fucking up there. <laughs> that's, all, that, that's all you need to know. To another, know. another thing is, is that the reason why this game is hard is because of how fucking bad it is. Like, it, that is the only reason why this game is hard. Um, it, it's not good in any way possible. <laughs> um, the game doesn't tell you, like, at what you need to do to, like, forward, like, yourself in the game. Um, you kind of have to figure that out yourself. Uh, another backstory to this is that this game took me three years to actually beat. All right, well, yeah. Yeah, let's see you start to beat it, Andy. Right, so <laughs> we're gonna get started here. So start of Andy's new three-year sojourn. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I beat this game at least like five or six times before this, and have actually uh, thought about speed running it. Um, so the little, I'll explain a couple of things. The little symbol in the do uh, the bottom right-hand corner with like the kid with like the, the creepy fucking guy. kid <laughs> with the number fifteen. There are fifteen kids on the camp. He looks fat. Yeah, Who's? they all look like that. <laughs> <laughs> they, none of them are different. So it's a fat camp. Yeah, it's pretty fat much. Camp. Oh, dude, we're in heavyweight. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. no, they're gonna die. <laughs> Sims. Oh no. Saves Sims. Gerald Gardner. No, nah, dude, oh, he's shit. a destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's Jason. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, and you have six camp counselors. Oh, look, it's Pat. From. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's George, apparently. <laughs> All uh, right, we have George, Mark, Paul, Laura, Debbie, and Chrissy. Mark looks like an asshole. You're not, you're not losing time right now? No, no. Oh, cool. No, cool, cool. this is just the start of the game still, so I have to choose the camp counselor that I want to start with. Um, the All of these camp counselors, none of these fucking matter except Mark and Chrissy. Because <laughs> they are the fastest in the game, and Mark can jump the highest. He can jump uh, higher than Chrissy can, but Chrissy runs faster than all these other four pieces of shit in this game. <laughs> um, Speedrunners actually will start the game and actually kill off these four characters on purpose. Because um, uh, what ends up happening is I'm going to choose Mark, uh, that's who I'm going to start with. And Jason hunts down uh, the camp counselors and the children and you have to save them from dying. Uh, so with all four gone, Jason only attacks him and Chrissy and the kids. Mm. So it's a lot easier for you to find Jason and kill him. Because he doesn't stop at every single one of these pieces of shit that don't matter in this game. Fucking uh, Rafflecopter fucking strats here. Yeah, uh, so there's that. So I start with Mark. Strats. Yeah, strats, dude. <laughs> I start with Mark. Uh, here's another thing that's to completely wrong with the game. Uh, you don't use a torch. Uh, you use a lighter, 
to light the fireplaces, <laughs> not a torch. Yeah, that's and, what they call them in like England or some shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what they call flashlights. Yeah, they call flashlights. Yeah. Uh, so right now you will see that there is a blinking red light in the top left hand corner. Uh, it's to let me know that uh, one of the camp counselors is getting attacked. Uh, I press start to find out which one it is. Uh, it's the one in the bottom right hand okay, corner. Okay, so you're the little man. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go over there to figure out who it is. Now you're gonna see me jump randomly um, because what ends up happening in this game, there's an RNG factor where you jump around a lot and random items will spawn. Um, in order for me to do this correctly, and because I'm gonna skip a lot of stuff, um, in order for me for this, for this to work correctly, I have to have a certain amount of items in my inventory for it to work and get the torch early. Uh, okay, so it's Paul who's getting attacked, so I don't care. We don't give a shit. <laughs> so I'm right. just gonna let him you die. Just, you just walk. You and just... It, it actually awesome because it gives me time to look for the items since they're so RNG. Since he's killing some piece yes. of shit, you don't kill it, care. Oh, look, there's oh, a yeah. there's so And there I you got a an, fucking dagger. So I have a dagger now. Daggers kill zombie. Oh, these are zombies, by the way. Why are um, zombies? I don't know why they're zombies in a Friday the 13th game. Do not ask me why. Um, so essentially, so you're what the I'm, expert, Andy. Yeah, uh, they haven't explained why there's zombies in this game. Where where did these fucking camp counselors learn to throw knives? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Live or die, Joey. Yeah, that's it's they, a part it's, of their training. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's CPR, it's knife, running, throwing. knife throwing. All right, so he's attacking somebody else now. Oh, well, Paul's dead. Yeah, Paul died. I just need to make sure it's. I not think Chrissy. that is Chrissy, isn't it? Because that, isn't that the house that uh, highlighted when you were picking? I think so. Yeah, it's gonna be Chrissy. Also, these are health jars. Um, you can't use them. What ends up happening is they're kind of like fairies in uh, Legend of Zelda. And when when you die, the pots kick in and they give you a couple of bars of health. So I'm gonna be collecting these. Um, there are three days in this whole game. Uh, second, uh, oh shit, I passed it. Uh, second day and third day, Jason is really, really fucking hard to deal with inside a cabin. So I'm gonna try and get him outside. Oh shit, it's Chrissy. Okay, so I'm gonna fucking fight Jason real quick. Oh god! Oh wow, what is Jason? fucking dodge, dude. Damn, this is juke, juke. <laughs> fucking became punch out and shit. No shit. Yeah, it's, it's very bad. If you notice, Jason is wearing a fucking purple jumpsuit. I like it though. I don't know why. He I, has really, a I really dig, I, I dig the color scheme. You look like he just got out of prison. Oh. Yeah. Jason oh. ain't shit. Jason ain't shit. Oh. So you for win now, for, now. Oh, for, for now. For now. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. happens a lot. <laughs> That's an ominous ellipses, man. Yeah. So uh, the items that I actually need in this game uh, to do anything are the knife, uh, a key, and the lighter. So I have the lighter and the knife already, and I need a key. So sure. what's going to happen is I'm going to go into a certain house when I get all of these items and a certain piece of paper is gonna come out letting me know that I need the torch to kill Jason. Um, because Jason's, there are a couple of weapons in this game you can get, uh, which is the knife, a machete, an ax. You can get uh, the flame, uh, which is like the torch, I guess, and a pitchfork. Um, the flame and the pitchfork do the same amount of damage to all of the en enemies in the game except for Jason, which the fire does more damage, so... Dude, you're, you're like an encyclopedia. That. This yeah. is amazing. Um, <laughs> get so, your notepads out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Essentially, we get the... You can get the pitchfork on day two. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, this happens randomly. Uh, and actually, dick. that's actually what I want to happen in day two and three. Um, because... Oh, we don't give a shit about the children in this game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. We don't give a shit about the children in real life. Either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so what ends up happening is... What's the point of the game? So, okay, okay. So the point of the game is there are three days in this game that you have to survive with Jason. You end up uh, at the third day when you kill Jason. That's the end of the game. Um, so I have to survive three days. All of the items that I get do go over uh, each day, so I don't have to worry about getting the torch or anything uh, for the next couple of days. The thing I have to worry about is fighting Jason on the streets, like I did just now. To lower um, his health for the final encounter. Uh, no, 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 because what ends up happening, there's no final encounter. Oh. Uh, you just fight Jason until he dies, and that's oh. the end of the game. Okay. Um, Dude, it, it's... Uh... Until dawn without cutscene. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I want to play that game. That game is awesome. I, I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. I saw a walk uh, playthrough of a, one of the 
Cool. Uh, jars. Uh, channel, it's the Shenanigans channel. Um, yeah. And uh, actually, uh, that's what got... I, I didn't think I'd be interested in the game. But when I saw them play, I was Jason's like... Coming. And actually, like, saw some of the gameplay. You know, it, it got me interested. You know? So... <laughs> you it, little bitch! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> you have the mat. Go away! Oh, your little pixies came out and gave you life, right? No. That's oh, what... yeah, the jars. Yeah, yeah, the jars that I got. Uh, okay, yeah. so what? What I'm wondering is, what purpose do the children serve? There are serve? zero they're, distractions. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, they're distract. Uh, really, what ends up happening is the childrens. You do have to end up saving them, um, because if all the children die, even though there's camp counselors alive, the game does end. Oh, okay. So you do have to eventually save them. So you need at least one kid alive. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I got. Can't a key. show that you're complete. Disgrace. Yeah, yeah. Counselor. You can't. Eventually, you don't. You have to save their lives. The counselor's code. Yeah. Save one kid. <laughs> <laughs> make sure at least one, make one, sure kid. one goes home. The bare minimum. <laughs> um. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually setting, getting to the cabin that I was talking about earlier that I have to get the piece of paper from, uh, to get the torch early. So essentially, the way you beat this game, uh, fully without doing the skips that I'm doing is you have to light all the cabins that are all around uh, the map. Uh, you have to light all the fireplaces with the lighter and the torch shows up. And that's the torch that you use to kill Jason. Um, I'm not gonna do all that shit because it <laughs> takes for goddamn ever. And I don't feel like encountering Jason a million times and dying, so. Another thing so also- we're breaking to, the game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> another thing game. also Perfect. to note, another thing also to note is Jason in day two and three, uh, Jason only has two speeds when you attack him indoors like I did. Uh -huh. um, he has day one speed and day three speed. Uh, day two speed is a mixture of day one and day three, and it's completely RNG. That so sucks. I have to try and not fight him in houses as much as I possibly can and fight him in streets because he does the same thing all three days, uh, which is he just walks up and throws a bunch of shit, and then walks away. back, and then runs away. So <laughs> yeah, that ends up happening. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I may be a little out Outdated on my nerd, but uh, what, what's RNG stand for? Uh, it's random number random generator. Random number generator. It means that there's no. Stupid. It's. <laughs> it's <laughs> funky. Yeah, it, it means random. that it happens at random. No, I, I know yeah, what it means yeah, yeah. now. I just want. I figured that, but I just want to know what that itself. So meant. I'm gonna try and see if I can get this correctly. Context clues, guys. If I want to get this paper to show up correctly, I have to walk twice, up twice, turn right. The paper shows up. So, one, two, up here, go, turn. There it is. God damn. Start. Fucking champion. What are these keys? Take. See, and it's gonna tell me to go into the woods. So I, that's what the keys are for. Going opening into the, the woods? Cabin. Yeah, opening, yeah, going into the woods. There's a oh. door in the woods <laughs> that <laughs> has a, a, yeah. Really? You're not being a dick right now? No, I, sh I swear <laughs> to God. So I'm in the woods. There's a woods level. I got another jar. I need to collect at least like seven of these to survive day three, so. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up twice, and there's gonna be a door. One, two, door. What the fuck? This game seems fun when you know what the fuck to yes, do. Yes. Yes. But I imagine going into this not knowing jack shit, you're like, what the yeah. fuck? Is yeah, it is yeah, that get, bad. Get, get thrown back to when this game came out. Yeah. And before, no. and there were Andes around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> before uh, the internet, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Actually, speaking of that. Um, when I can actually pause here, uh, no time, like there's no time limit ever. So like, as long as I'm inside a place or if there's like a door like this, Jason will not attack any of the comp counselors and none of the children. So I can literally it's sit like here. A break stage. Yes, so I can sit here and do nothing for five minutes and Jason won't move. Um, uh, one thing I would like to note is this was actually one of the first games that I've ever played as a child. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My mom owned a, uh, an NES uh, when she was raising me as a child and only owned t three games, which was Mario, this game, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's quite the selection. When I was <laughs> when I was five yeah, years... Beat him up, weird... I don't even... <laughs> puzzle, puzzle, <laughs> puzzle, puzzle game, game. Yeah. Yeah. And, and platformer. And a platformer, and platformer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So Diverse. My, yeah. When, my, when I was five years old, or I, I don't know, I don't remember how old I was. I was old enough for me to know what video games were. Yeah. Uh, the Sega Genesis had just come out, so that was <laughs> a new hotness for like all the kids. Yeah. Uh, my mom gave me an option for my birthday. She said, I can give you the Nintendo and with the games that I have, or you can get a Sega. And I was like, 
my inner me, of course, wants the Sega because I want to be like the new hotness at elementary yeah, yeah, school. Yeah. The kid with the power glove. That but I actually <laughs> chose. I actually chose the Nintendo, and uh, she gave me all the games, and I actually played this game. Uh, for the first time, and it scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, as yeah, a kid, yeah. As a kid. And, uh, Jason running at you and shit. Yeah, it scared the living shit out of me, so I never played it. And it wasn't until I was in high school when I saw Angry Video Game Nerd <laughs> <laughs> play this game that I was like, holy shit, I used to play this. <laughs> That's the poopy ass game. Yeah, like, holy shit, this game. You know, is... The handle kind of looks like a cross. It totally yeah. does. Yep. Uh, and uh, that was when I started playing it again, actually. And it, the reason why it took me three years is because I didn't look up walkthroughs. I didn't go and watch somebody else play it. I played it through without doing any of that and beat the game. I and would, I would never have the fucking yeah. patience for really. that. It took yeah. me Fuck a that. really long time. Well, show us your skills and let's go through this door. Bro. All right, so this door, I'm going to go in and I'm going to walk out. Oh, paper. That was I'm going to get it right now. Oh. Jeez, out, Matt. Walk back in. Gonna get the paper. Where is it? Is there a reason you? Yes, there is a reason to this. So I'm gonna take Chinese the paper. Secret. Fire will damage Jason the most. So, okay. Oh, dude, dude, it's like Bloodborne, man. Jason's weak to fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's the character. Uh, I was gonna call him a. Comedian. Now there's an axe there. I can take it, but I'm not going to because it doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna get the torch right now anyway. Because it's not fire. Man. So I'm gonna go right, and I'm gonna go down one, and then I'm gonna go right again, and then down one. So down. What? There's a fox. There was a wolf. Yes. Oh. Down one. It looked like a fox. And it takes me out. The forest is actually really hard to get out of if you don't know where you're going. Um, this whole game looks hard to get out of. If you don't know <laughs> yes, yeah. it's it's really really hard. <laughs> and like I said again, it's not hard because it's good. It's hard because it's bad. So I'm gonna walk forward twice again. It's take like, a right. Where's, Mar or, where's Mario? Yeah, or I'm gonna walk forward twice. Take a right, and a torch is gonna be there. What's that again? That's not the Mario's one. missing. Oh, Mario's there missing. There it is. So I've got the torch. Why isn't that place on fire yet? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. It, so essentially I can show you right now what I have to do, like the real way to get this. I have to do this to all of the cabins in the game. Light it. And I use my lighter, by the way, not my torch like the beginning of the game says. So now that I have the torch, which is the most damaging item in the game, the rest of the game is just fighting Jason. So I have to go find Jason right now. Oh shit, there. dude, you're gonna fucking hunt him down? Also, you will try to see me not- oh shit. You won't see me jump a lot also, because jumping, uh, it, like I said, since there's an RNG factor, it also spawns items as far as weapons as, like, knives. If I get uh, a knife, yeah, it replaces do. the torch. So it Castlevania is uh, you. Yes, so I can't- I can't jump often, or if I jump, it, like, spawns stuff, and I don't want to deal with that. If I have to jump, I will. But I usually don't. Do your best not to anymore. Yeah. Since you already have what you need. Yes. Did you guys ever see this movie? No. I, I did, actually. I it's one of my favorite movie. movie series, to be I, honest. I've seen bits and pieces, and I know the ending and the ending ending. Oh, well, everybody knows the ending. Yeah. I've never... Now that you mention it, I've never seen a Friday the 13th. I mean, wait, that's a lie. I saw... Not even Jason X? I saw, yeah. No. Jason <laughs> X is <laughs> so Jake. good. Everybody hates that movie, but no, I love it, it, it so it, much. I've never movie, seen Jason X. That movie yeah. does not matter. Yes, you have. Yes, have. you have because we were um, we were staying up late and we were watching uh, um, we we're watching actually yeah it was like <laughs> stars or, or something or whatever before all the porno came on and we saw Jason X and we were like ooh spooky scary movie uh, spooky scary. I don't name, remember or, and then, and okay uh, you might remember this do you remember him stuffing a girl into a sleeping bag and then beating another girl. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> You remember that? That was oh, fucking that was amazing. That was amazing. That was fucking amazing. That, that was the best part of that the whole film. That is the only. Film. That is the only thing you need to know about that film. That I, is the best part. The of rest the film. of the film does not matter. So you these are these are, are the these movie. are the children. When you go inside the camp counselors, they have no face. <laughs> <laughs> they should be just yeah. so you know. It's a little horrifying. Yeah. 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 Another thing to note also: once Jason gets to about seven of these little pegs. Um, because you can hit Jason only a certain amount of times in a cabin before he leaves. 
Once he gets to seven, he won't leave after that. Oh, so you, so you can like it becomes like the final fight, and yeah. the day is over. The day is over when you kill Jason. So you kill Jason once, day two starts. Oh, you kill Jason oh, another time, day okay. three starts. Okay. okay. So I have to like go around in each corner. Jason will spawn and start fighting Jason. So I don't kill it. Fucking kids. Ah! He does the same amount of damage, even though he has uh, items. Uh, which is the amount of pegs that I have right now. Oh shit. Ooh. I don't want to die. I only think I have- I don't have any more fucking- Yeah, you ran out of the juice. It's cool. I might have to take a, uh, a risk and start jumping around and hope that, uh, cures- They're called cures, uh, spawn, so I can have them for day two <clears throat> and three because it's gonna be extremely hard. I'm oh. going to try not to die. Okay, so let's say Mark dies. Do the other count counselors have the torch? The torch? No. So oh, okay. essentially, what ends up- again? That's another thing that makes this game hard, is ah. that if you die What's with, with the, the- crow? Uh, there's crows in this game, uh, that do show up randomly. Uh, they are fucking assholes and are really, really hard to hit. You can jump over them, but then again, like I said, uh, you don't want to jump because it will spawn uh, items. items. So what is the movie The Crow about? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now, um, now I just want the crow to show up in the game and just like start kicking What's ass. really funny is I just saw the angry video game nerd play that game for the fucking Sega Saturn and that was the most hilarious shit. <laughs> there, there's a there's a crow? The crow game? Yes. Yes, there you is a crow. That? I didn't and know it's that. actually I not was, based I wasn't aware of that. And it's actually not based on the first crow movie, which is good. <laughs> it's based upon City of Angels, which is fucking ass movie. I, I actually so haven't gothy. seen I didn't yeah. see the crow oh, yeah. for the, the first the, time. The Crow, like, like, all those movies are gothy as fuck. Yes, like, they're all gothy. Alright, the, the original Crow, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, Guy has a son. Oh, here comes Jason. Uh, but Let's he's involved finish. in some shit. Do you and then oh! they kill his son. Oh. And then they kill him, and he comes back Spawn? from the dead no, for he, vengeance. He, he didn't have a son. Yep. He, he had like a girlfriend or whatever, and then they, they they got fucking murdered. Was it City of Angels then, where he had the son? Yes. So you saw the <laughs> shitty one. Was, <laughs> City of Angels is bad. City of Angels is the one that doesn't have uh, Brandon Lee, because well, Brandon Lee, rest dead. in peace, yeah, uh, died in the first movie. Um, but he uh, died during filming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was accidentally shot. Yes. Well, accidentally. Well, uh, yeah. I yeah. guess conspiracy theories. A lot of. Oh, God damn it! Theory. No, Jason, like, go away! Oh, yeah. oh shit! Oh, ah! Get out there, homie! Ah! Ah! No, oh, I can't like, leave. Fuck! Oh my God! Throw the paper at him. No. Take the paper rocks. I, these are rocks, by the way. No, that's if you totally paper. Know. It doesn't do shit. Yeah, yeah they like don't do up paper. They don't do ass for damage. See, as as far as you can tell, Chrissy does jump pretty high, but Mark jumps higher than her, so that's. Oh, why are you Chrissy stuck. now? I am Chrissy. Mark, Mark died. died. Mark died. You missed it when you were talking about the crow like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to you. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, this game, like I said, becomes traditionally hard. Right now, I probably would have reset the game, uh, but I'm just gonna play through it, and actually, you know what, I might just kill myself and just start over. Oh, Chrissy's dead. Bye, Chrissy. Reset. I'm just gonna go kill myself as Debbie and uh, <laughs> George. Fuck Debbie. So essentially, this is what you do when you do speed run: is you just do this over and over again. You just walk in front of zombies until you kill yourself. <laughs> Doesn't seem very speedy. Yeah, it actually is to be honest, uh, because you don't want to deal with that factor of where Jason is. Also, Jason has a pattern of um, when he gets to a certain uh, when he gets on the outside of the map. You see the giant ring. Yeah. Uh, he only goes to the right. He never goes to the left, unless he's in where the cave he's not is. Not an ambi Turner. Yeah, unless he's where the cave is or where the lake is, then he is random. He can go to the left or to the right. But when you, when he's on, let's say he ends up in the bottom left cabin What's by the main cave? road. Uh, the cave uh, actually holds where Jason's mom is, and you can fight her. No shit. Yes. She actually comes out in the she game. She actually does come out in the game. I was, I was actually. Let me see. You what? know what? I'll do that for you right now. Let me see. Now look at how slow this piece of shit is. <laughs> and let me show you his jump. Like, it is Leave ridiculous. Leave him alone, he's fat. I <laughs> can't, yeah, like. Yeah, it's her. pet. That's impressive for a fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing so, pink with it, it looks like fucking Velma. So there's no it point. Does look like Velma. <laughs> there's 
no real point in fighting Jason's mom. Uh, you can if you want. You can on day two when you fight her, it's she gives you a sweater that uh, gives you like it's uh, less. Uh, you get less damage taken from enemies, including Jason. Dude, the whole point of fighting Jason's mom is to just be like, oh fuck your mom, Jason. Yeah, pretty much. Well, pretty pretty that's much. That's a cool Easter. I mean, because in the first. Uh film like joey said everyone knows like it was jason's, it was mom, jason's mom who was the killer yes yeah. Dang. you fight you Boiler fight her alert. <laughs> i have seen that movie that movie is 20 plus years old yeah um <laughs> the uh uh jason's mom in this game is actually a giant floating head uh it's actually not like a physical form of jason's mom but you do get the pitchfork from her on day three if you fight her and on day two you get a sweater that uh uh, helps you with damage from enemies. I'm gonna go show her her face right now, and she's scary as shit. I think this was like, she was the boss in this game that scared the shit out of me, but she's like a side boss that you can go fight if you want like different weapons or or the sweater. Ugh. But um, there's no like, it, as far as like time wise, there's no real reason to fight her. You I, don't really you can like, like fight her whenever. Yeah, you can just go fight her, and then you. She doesn't have like a timer like Jason. You could just go fight her whenever you want. She's See, and if you if you note also, it's taking Jason a really long time to show up to the kids because all the other camp counselors are dead. So the likeliness so of because you because there's no one protecting them, he can't find them. No, he does. He fights them and he'll show up eventually, but he's not showing up to any of the camp counselors because you know they're all dead. Um, but a thing that's happening right now is what's really good is that. Uh, it gives you a, a more likable chance of you to find Jason on the streets, which is where you want to fight him uh, on day two and three. And I'll try and show you how fast he is on day two or three. It's ridiculous. Uh, you will always almost get hit by him in inside the cabin when you fight him because he's so fast. Um, that's why a lot of speedrunners just try to, you know, um, avoid him. I don't know, man. It sounds like he just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's really hard. That was like one of the things that I haven't that I hadn't mastered was fighting him in the cabin. A lot of speedrunners have because the RNG factor of fighting finding him uh, in the streets is is random. Okay, well he's gonna show up here and I, now I have a key. How, so how, do, you, have, how do you know? Because the screen, the screen stops scrolling, screen stops okay. scrolling and uh, the zombies eventually leave. They oh my god! Please don't tell me I have to. Oh god! Oh. I had to fight him all the way. I got him down to seven. And when you get him up, oh, by the way, this is the best kill scene I've ever seen in a video game. I, I remember this from the angry video game. Yes, yes. yes. you're dead. Yes. Your friends are dead. dead. Your parents are dead. <laughs> it is one of the best kill screens I've ever seen in a video game. Yo, one of my favorite kill screens is um, Tales of Symphonia. I oh my god, yeah. yes. Like, what is it? Um, and then, and they were never or heard, seen or heard from, from again. again. <laughs> it's like, wow! <laughs> this game was so bright until I saw that. <laughs> like, one of my favorite, also one of my favorite kill screens was probably from uh, Resident Evil, especially the original ones. Because when you died, it, all it would tell you was, you died. Yeah. Like, in blood, like, you died. You died. Like, okay. I always felt, like, real somber in after seeing that. In case you didn't know. Yeah. So I get to start the game over again. Right, don't fuck it up like last time, Andy. I'm gonna try not to fuck it up. <laughs> so you're already invoking Joey's wrath. Dude. Yeah, Joey's already mad. Yeah, and you, Jason's you... already pissed too. Jo Jason feels Joey's anger and you... is now attacking a camp counselor. You were impressing me until you fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> you were impressing me until you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah, this is this is one of my all-time favorite games, and a, and a lot of people give it a lot of crap, and I mean, of course I do too, because of the fact, like, <laughs> because like look at I it. said, because look at it. just look at this game. Um, another thing, like I said, the game doesn't tell you what to do, like, oh, like, it doesn't give you any sort of, like, indication of where to go and what to do. Even in the beginning, it tells you you need to use the torch to light the fireplaces, when in fact, you don't use that, you use a lighter. It's already, like, giving you, like, false oh, information. information. Goddamn. Um, so, yeah, and, and all the little papers that you see happen, they have to, like, certain things have to happen in order for you to get them. So, it's not even like, oh, let me just go to this specific house and get this paper. Mm. Like, it, that's not the way this game works. This game just decides to shit on you about stuff like that. I find oh, it damn. a really, I, I find that it's a really odd choice that the... The drop rate is determined by your jumps and not like enemy kills. Yep. That's a really interesting. 
Also, another thing, oh shit, another thing to note is, uh, depending on how many enemies you kill also can spawn certain, uh, certain items. I might die. Oh god. Let me scrub, see if I can- Scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Scrubs. okay, that's cool. Alright. I still have Chrissy. I still have Chrissy. You still have Pat, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if I can do pull this Pat off Finley. with Chrissy. You may recognize me from my work in the Camp Hope film. <laughs> Promotional, <laughs> Promotional video. video. Promotional video. Thank you. Oh, dude, maybe Jason's Ben Stiller. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would that make uh, Jason's mom's I'm talking head... to Pat! I'm talking it! <laughs> well, would that make Jason's mom's head uh, Ben Stiller as his dad? Yes? <laughs> or, you know, that's someone else. Yeah, well, I don't remember what his name is. That, that's his that, actual uh, dad. That's yeah. Vincent's actual yeah. dad. They come out in a lot of movies together, actually. Hmm. Uh, like, they did the Heartbreak Kid together. They did uh, Zoolander together. <laughs> who was he in uh, who, who was He the... was uh, Maury Ballstein. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. he was, his name was Maury! Yeah. yeah, his name was Maury. Yeah. Well, shit. Hmm. Connection. Yeah. Um, After he lost Camp Hope, he went into the modeling business. Even though they have different names and completely different. Yeah, he had to change his name, dude. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of, yeah. I mean, he didn't. He, he didn't sign his check, dude. <laughs> you know how bad that looks on you as a, like business owner. It's true. Real bad. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually trying to find a key. Uh, I'm gonna use this time to show you Jason's mom. Um, it's, she's not that hard to, to see. I just need the key to get into the room. Does she have it going on? Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, that, <laughs> as far as it's going on for, you know, just like disembodied floating heads, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, there's not really much she can work I'm pretty with sure, there. I'm pretty sure there's a kink out there. Yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the, um, I have a kink for, uh, disembodied heads floating around and causing shit. As well as floating talking swords. Oh no, yeah. No, that was not me. Yeah, that was you. Was so that me? Yeah, that was you. Do you that get off on floating you. things? Huh? Do you get off on floating things? Probably. Oh yeah, dude, floating swords. Like yeah, dust. The floating swords <laughs> yeah. and dust. Yep. I mean, just that anti-gravitational pull pulls me. <laughs> <laughs> pulls on my dick. Well, Damn. <laughs> Yeah, this game is awesome. I, I love this game. I, oh, I got a key. Finally, fucking shit. <laughs> Didn't you already have one? No, I did not. He oh, died. He Mark had one. one. Yes, yeah. Mark had one, and I had to wait to get one for Man, the fuck Mark. Dying and shit. It's, it, it's terrible. Like I said again, the game is so RNG, you can start off getting like three pots, and you're like, oh my god, this is heaven. What is that? So this is the cave. cave. Oh. Another item you can get is the flashlight in this game, the backdrop. Uh, is actually that you can see actually has um, entrances to different doors. Um, oh wow! Now what happens is is like you can just randomly press up at different spots and it doesn't really matter because you just find the door um, randomly. Yeah. So I don't need to go around doing things for flashlight when I just press. Fucking up. fine shit. Yeah. So here's Jason's mom. Oh, oh shit! shit. Whoa. That looks like a Peter Piper game. And she <laughs> and she and she. It looks like it looks attacks like attacks you by like. Just Medusa. you know, like I was gonna say, it looks head. like like Tim Burton presents Medusa. Yeah, yeah, Tim Burton meets Sally. No, meets Medusa. Medusa. Yeah, there you go. So this Fuck. bitch is really, really hard to fight against. So I never do it. Yeah. It's not ever ever worth the items that I get from her. Yeah. So I don't her. I don't fight her. She looks pissed. Yeah, she's pretty pissed. Yeah, I mean, I like, you let yeah, her son die. So I mean, she's I pretty fucking she... mad. <laughs> oh, see, and I mean, you can dodge either way, and you still get hit by that. Yeah, because so. she comes like at an angle. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's really pointless to play so to like, like go. Pat Finley. Yep. No, well, I'm <laughs> just gonna kill all the. Like I said again, these camp concerts really suck, and like it takes way too much time fucking to fight George them. George went down like a fucking motherfucker. Yeah, it, it's. Look at Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at him. Like, oh, Paul. Like, why, Paul? Oh, God. Oh. What do you even do? <laughs> he just he just decides that you know things happen in this game. I, I don't know. I uh, I, I probably oh, okay. I thought like Jason was gonna spawn. I'm like, really, dude? You couldn't just let the zombie 
swamp monster thing kill me. I seriously thought the first time that I saw this enemy, I thought it was like the swamp thing. It does look nothing like a yeah, zombie look, at all. I thought it was like a wolf man. I thought it was like a Bigfoot. That too, that could be- uh, look at that feet- yeah. Wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I never noticed that. So yeah, there's- we're all dead. <coughs> you and your friends, friends are dead are again. Dead. dead. Game over. Dead, 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 dead. Game over. <clears throat> yeah, so... I always thought that was really funny that like the beginning of the game started with a knife going through Jason's eyeball. <laughs> he deserves it. No, <laughs> there was no point in that like at all whatsoever. Dude, if you have any hints, dagger him in the eye. Fucking eye. If it was like a torch to his mask, then maybe I guess. But lose the torch to light the fireplaces. You fucking liars. So bad. Yeah, this game gets a lot of a lot of stuff for being like one of the worst games ever made. But uh, I I thoroughly enjoy this game every time I play. I don't play think it. I'd ever enjoy playing this game, but it's fun watching. It's fun to watch. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's probably only because you know what you're doing. Yeah. Like. I mean, oh, exactly. trust me, it was yeah. garbage trying to figure out how to play this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like bullshit. That was like the worst times of my life. I called those the dark ages of gaming for me. <laughs> I was playing like, oh god. You're playing fucking Friday I could, the 13th. I, I could only play this game like two times out of a week before I had to stop and be like, oh, like, I'm playing this shitty fucking game. Now you gotta conquer uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I need to do that, actually. <laughs> um, another game that I have yet to beat, but I've been really close to beating, is Contra. That's also another game that's oh, like really Contra. hard. Contra. With or without the... With, uh, without the, the actual lives. code, yeah. Um, I've I've almost beaten it. Oh, who the fuck? I don't even know who you're killing. Whatever. No, just you should that. play... Barai Fighter. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh my god. Okay, so back in high school, uh, me and Joey took uh, like the intro to computer maintenance class, which was just us playing video games all day. <laughs> the best class in high school. Was, like what? Yeah, we all took that class. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for those who don't know. Yeah. yeah I'm telling the story here. Um, so uh, while going through the NES emulators and stuff like that, we came across this uh, little shooter, like side scroller called Barai Fighter. Uh, it's super fun, super, by the way. Super fun. Fun game, fucking hard as shit. Hard as balls. Yeah, man. so it was one of those games where you could only really beat with the code, and it gave you 99 lives. Well, I beat it first. <laughs> I just want that's kind of an important <laughs> part of the story. I beat it first, and I was really excited about it. Well, Joey starts playing, and uh, the bell rings and everything for like us to leave. He's still playing. And he's at the last boss or whatever. It wasn't the last one. I was. I think I was like the, the from before, like the stage before. Stage before the last boss. I was on the boss. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, man, we gotta go. And he's like, no, we gotta finish. I'm like, nope, we gotta go. All tap four. And uh, yeah, he wasn't very happy about. That. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story of that. I have a story that's exactly like that. Uh, actually, and I, I'm sorry to you, Joey, but my story is a lot worse. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Ghost and Goblins. Yes. Yep. Oh, okay, um, I had the game. We and uh, a friend of mine, Pierre, we played that game for 22 hours straight. No pause, no bathroom breaks, 22 hours straight. What the fuck is wrong? Eventually, with eventually, <laughs> eventually, I mean, like, you know, we had, like, if somebody had to pee, we would pass the controller to the other player. Oh, okay. The thing about Ghosts and Goblins is if you've never played it, your first playthrough of the game, you get to the end and it tells you you have to go back and play the game all over yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard that, yeah. So, we had to do that, and we were, we, oh my god, we were so fucking mad. Um, so now what's going on is, uh, I had to get up to go to the bathroom. 22 hours played, no pause, there's no pause, nothing. Um, I get up and I unplug the power cord. Oh, <laughs> no. And I, oh, I think if there was ever a point in my life that I legitimately wanted to commit suicide, <laughs> <laughs> it was that point in my life. Oh. 22 hours straight of my time wasted playing Ghosts and Goblins only to unplug the power cord and nothing to get saved. I think me and my friend Pierre stared at the fucking TV screen for at least 15 minutes, 
like in complete shock. I, I know Pierre, so I, I, yeah, can, yeah, I, I, can, I can see both of you very vividly in my mind of how exactly you look, and it it's both hilarious and really sad. Yeah, it's it's really really sad. <laughs> okay, uh, so I don't know. Okay, I got a key. That's great. I need to find a lighter, and I don't remember if I have one or not anymore. I think you check your inventory. I'm gonna check it right now. Now, the way you check inventory in this game is very awkward. You go in here, and you see your inventory. It has to be a house, a cabin. You, you can't check your inventory from, like, the screen. Okay, so I have everything I need, so I'm going to go to... Chrissy's dead. Yeah, Chrissy did die, by the way. Um, she was one of the first camp counselors that were attacked, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to die? To not die and fuck it up. Like the last two times? Like the last two times. This guy already talking that mad shit. How much of the cure can you have at one point? Uh, I, I believe it might be unlimited. I've never had more than seven, to be honest. Oh, okay. You can never have enough Robert Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of the same oh, joke, too, okay. but I refrained from saying it. It took me a while to uh, understand yeah, that. It, I get me it too. It's it the, a... the lead singer of The Cure of the Band. Ah. <laughs> it took me a couple of seconds to be like, wait, what? And then I understood. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get the joke. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to that. Adrian's not here, so. Yeah, Adrian's not here. <laughs> going to the woods. All right, I'm going. Okay, so would it would it be at all? Would it be a good idea to farm for cure? Or yes, uh, but the thing is, is that like I said again in the beginning, you want to do that in the beginning because once you get the torch. You don't want to be jumping around all over the place. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But so, like right now, you don't yeah. Have if you notice me, like that's all I'm doing is I'm just jumping. So you can't sw like switch your item that mm you have. No, you cannot switch any of the items. The thing, but that's the thing that sucks, is that once you get the torch, if you land on a knife, it replaces the torch with a knife. So you don't want to do that. Yeah. You want to keep from doing that because then you have to go back, and in that case. Uh, once you do this little glitch, you have to actually go and light all of the cabins to get the torch a second time, which takes fucking forever. And so I will it not. Makes more sense yeah. To be set. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I need to go. One, two. Oh wow! There's a door. Am I in the wrong place? Oh, I might be in the wrong place. No, no, no. I'm fine. No, he's lying. <laughs> we know fine. We say it all the time. <laughs> no, I should. Let me see. One. Okay, no. Oh, well, all right. Oh, in, of, of course, I'm in the wrong area. All right, I'm in the wrong part of the woods. You're in the wrong neck of the woods. Do, 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 Boy. Do, 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 do. The soundtrack to this game is so amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, too bad we can't hear it right now. Like, it, 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 it was so bad playing uh, Shovel Knight. Because that, like, that being able to hear the yeah, music? yeah, the the oh, shit. it's such a fucking crime to not be able to hear Shell Knight. Yeah, I like it. It's super good, and Revengeance too. Oh god, Revengeance! The soundtrack is amazing. <laughs> I don't th I don't think it's Rules of Nature. Yeah, it hasn't aired see, yet. See, that's but all we I know it. that happened. <laughs> comes out in that. Uh, we play that game. We play that. That's coming yeah. soon, guys. So we'll be ready for that. That's awesome. Alejandro is gonna love that. <laughs> Damn it, I, just, had, I just, yeah. I just hear that in my head now. Rules of nature. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so you know, I just, and... I hear rules of nature, and then I yes. put it with that, with smack that, smack my bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> so. And I know that's not how it goes, <laughs> but that's what I feel like it is, and it's not. No, dude, that's I'm gonna be disappointed when I hear it. <laughs> For real. Make a remix. I should. Um, I can't do that, mashup. though. I don't know how to do remix. You don't know how to music? Matt, teach me. I will. <laughs> I love the confidence in Matt's voice when he said that. Like, like he has like this key to like a kingdom. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I can show you the world. Yeah, pretty much that's what I got from that. Alright, so the torch needs to be in here. One, go, back, take, no. I so I have five potions, so I should be good, I think. I'm gonna try not to get hit. Hopefully I succeed. It's like Alex always says, the number one rule to life, don't get hit. Yeah, don't get hit. <laughs> it's also the number one rule of melee is don't get hit. 
But yeah. Oh, See, oh, look, oh, yeah, oh, I don't want to jump. That's spooky See, scary. And that's some scary stuff. Yeah, that's like, that's the scariest yeah, part of the game. Now it's just like, hey, take this knife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The game yeah, beckons would, like, you to take now. it. Like, oh, you know you want it. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, the machete, <laughs> the machete actually comes out. Like I said again, uh, depending on how many enemies or how many zombies you kill, uh, actually generates uh, weapons to show up in the game. So if you kill 50 zombies, a machete will show up. Uh, so if I kill 50 zombies, a machete shows up. If I kill, I think like 25, a knife shows up. All right. So where are you? Oh, awesome. You're close. Okay. Oh god. You need to get it. Yeah, I need it. Oh, I did it. I, I just want to make like so many similarities to Bloodborne in this game. It's like they they look like blood vials that you're healing with. You're All using right, a fucking torch. Where the hell are you? Beast people outside. He's gonna have okay, so when you first meet Jason, he's hitting you with fists. That's an oh fuck, I fucked up. Okay, um the second time he's hitting you with a machete, and the third time he hits you with an axe. Even though he has weapons. They all do the same amount of damage. So it's just more aesthetic? Yep. Fuck his shit up, yo. Yeah, fire does the most damage. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. Some luck. You win. For now. For now. Da, da, da. So you gotta kill him to oh, advance oh. to night two. The oh, night oh. two. Day two. Oh, pretty yeah, much. Day two. Yeah, day two. Well, goddamn. I should do remixes. I think I'd be good at remixes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jason, I know you're coming. Which side? Oh, fight me! Oh, 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 no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, He's gonna bird, come back. He's crow. gonna come back. He's gonna come back. Oh, little white bee. This is good. This is good. This is good. Take off. Now come back. Okay, I think he might end up in here. No? Okay. Fuck Laura. <laughs> do it. No, not your type. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're slow and you can't jump high. I'm sorry. <laughs> no go for me. No! Wow! Oh, oh, yes. That was a lot of bad luck right there. Shitty. That was a lot of bad luck. And and this just goes to show how much RNG this game is. That's... It puts you in situations where it forces you to do something. And it's like, oh, here, check out this knife. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so I was, I was only three payments of nine ninety nine yeah. to get that knife. Yeah, I, so, I, I, I picture. So like, who wants to take? Who wants to do the honors of killing the characters off? I'll do it. I want to do one after Jimmy. You had okay. to do <laughs> the honors of killing kill, a character. Off. I want to kill Debbie. How do I? It's oh, the, we're start. Yeah, there you oh, go. Okay. What do you got against Debbie, Jimmy? She's a downer. <laughs> 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 this game sucks. <laughs> How do you oh, fucking bro. jump? There's two lighters. There's only two buttons. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fuck you. Fuck uh, you. Okay, fuck this. I'm not actually gonna play this garbage. You know you want. You're, you're like so tempted. I, I'm Aren't yes, you? but but this is already a failed run. I'm not gonna fucking fuck that shit. Not as Debbie. Fuck this. <laughs> that is Debbie. Debbie. Kill me. There you go. There you go. You can, what do I push? You push starts or options. And then... There you go. No. Okay. Oh, you're gonna kill Pat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. What's more fun, Vanessa? This or, sp or Spookies? Spookies is scary, man. This isn't scary? No. Are you sure? Yeah, unless Jason comes at me, but I doubt it. He's scared of me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Birds are scary things. Yeah, the first time you actually play this game, uh, the first time you encounter Jason, uh, is actually very, very startling and scary as shit. I would have fucking imagined. <laughs> like... Do you even have a goal in mind, Vanessa? No. <laughs> Kill him. Okay, kill fine. Him. Matt, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to Whoa. get some progress in here, but Andy keeps dying. It's 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 really hard. Uh, yeah, I, Andy can't deliver us promise. Yeah. So. How do I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> there it's we go. so confusing. Those knees, though. One of the things I did want to see was you guys actually try to like attempt to play this game. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> that was fantastic. I can't even kill somebody. <laughs> that was amazing. The uh, game just said fuck you. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, Alright, buddy. Alright, third this time's the charm. You. Third time's the charm. So, this is the fourth. Is it? Yeah. No, it's no, the it's third. A third. It's a third. Didn't he die right away as Mark his second time? No. I don't think so. Maybe. Na I'm yeah, not you did. You, di you died right away as Mark. You started playing as Christy, but you didn't get that far. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. I kind of like, once I start dying a lot in this game, it kind of happens. Uh, you kind of just like, you know, lose this focus and how many times you've died. You just lose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's lucky. Now, if I get a knife really, really fast and a key, that would be awesome. I'd have a great run for that. Gotta get those cures, dude. Yeah, the cures are very, very important. Uh, one of, like, my best run was uh, getting seven cures before I even fought Jason, which Man. was awesome. Or before I even got the torch. That sounds useful. Um, there oh, you shit. go. You you awesome. You got everything awesome. you need. That's really, really good. That's really good. Let me see. Is this... Yeah. Awesome, and I'm in the right place too. Oh yeah, this is good. Good start. Wieners. Got a good start. <laughs> this is the one, man. You this want is wieners? It. I actually wouldn't mind a hot dog right now. You have hot dog. I have a hot dog with no bun. Nathan's hot dogs are like the best hot dogs ever. They had a Hebrew National. No, I've never had Hebrew National actually. Are they really actually good? Fucking good. I like Nathan's. Nathan's are one of my favorite. Actually, another thing. Speaking of hot dogs. No, um, don't even go. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. I don't know what you're gonna talk about. I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. Your fucking vegan hot dogs. I've never had vegan hot dogs actually. I've never had them. The hell are you guys talking about? Yeah, I'm confused. Me too. Yeah, they found like human meat and with like hot dogs. Really? And, yeah. I know. I didn't. I didn't human know that. DNA in hot dogs. Yeah. And nope. uh, yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, my favorite hot dogs are actually what I was gonna say is my favorite hot dogs are the ballpark franks oh, with okay. the cheese inside. I thought you were gonna, thought oh, you were gonna bring oh, up of hot dogs and like. Oh yeah, no, negative I negative shit hurt. about. I don't want to hear negative shit about hot dogs. No. Hot dogs are great. Yeah, I love <laughs> hot dogs. Look at the table. Yeah. They're covered in hot dogs. Yeah, I love hot yeah. dogs. I came in here and I was like in heaven immediately. That's I was gross. like, man, there's so many hot dogs on this table. It, it turns out Matt was the one who started the negativity about the hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Matt just you goes you off are like, your own whoa. monster. <laughs> So also another thing to note as well is while I'm in the woods, Jason is not attacking anybody, so I can just oh, never mind never except mind. the children. Uh, but so they're I not really just, people yet, so it's okay. Yeah, I, I would much rather have him attack the attack the children. George is dead. Fuck which, George. Which is fine. Oh, Pat. Yeah. Fuck Pat. Fuck Pat. Oh shit. Okay, I ended up on the other side. Okay, I know where I'm at. Okay. So I'm just gonna jump randomly. I want to see how many cures I have. Six. Oh! Yeah. Good stuff. You're looking pretty good right That's now. That's pretty good. Do it, really do it, good. Lars. <laughs> do it, do it, Lars. Buddy! Buddy! Lunch is canceled today due to lack of hustle. Deal, Deal with, with it. it. <laughs> I, need, I need to watch that movie with you. I love and, that and, film. And, and I'll take you with Yes. Yeah. Oh, you told me about the heavyweight yeah. drinking. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking great. One of my favorite rules that we utilized was, uh, one person is picked to be Lars, so at any point in the in the movie, when he shouts "Buddy," y'all have to shout "Buddy," and anyone who doesn't, or like the last one who does, they have to take a a, a, a chug or whatever, two finger forfeit. Um, if Lars is ever not using or holding the the, the drink, beer in his uh, offhand, yeah. then, and someone calls him out on it. Then that person becomes large, and they have to, and the former large has to chug whatever's left of their drink. Holy shit! So, so it's my favorite rule of that game because it's just like you can fuck with people yeah, whenever so you want. Yeah, so basically you just be like, like, and then I'm going, buddy, and then everyone has to drink, buddy, buddy. Ah, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. I love that so much. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. I remember in uh, Matt's old house, we were playing that drinking game, and I was Lars. And I was Lars the entire time. Uh, and <laughs> was I think it here that we played it. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was at the huh. it was at the, the old house, and um, I I think I did it like once or twice, and like that was the, that was it until we got to the part where he actually says it in the movie. So every time he said it, I said it. 
<laughs> so, wow. so everyone was like, buddy, and drinking. And then I'd say it again. So that whole time, people were just downing their drinks and giving me very hateful stares. I would, I would have to assume that that game becomes really complicated to do once you're drunk. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, any drinking game really uh, very, does. Uh, that's also very Depending true. on how, like, yeah. fucked up you are. But, okay. I mean, we're Oops. champions. That's why it's the Gamer's Brewery. <laughs> Alright, give me that torch. Oh, yeah. Defeat it. Alright, so... This is it, man. Optimal, I still have Chrissy. Optimal fucking settings, yeah, dude. Don't yeah. you fuck this up. I'm not gonna mess this up. I got this. Stop jumping. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, go away. One thing that I hate is that the rocks and the, the fire actually go at an angle instead of straight forward. Uh, the pitchfork is the only thing that does damage as much as the torch does that goes uh, straight. Like the knives. Yeah, like the knives. Okay, where are you? What? Oh, oh, it's Chrissy. Killing Chrissy. Oh, hurry! Yeah, I gotta stop that from happening. You gotta protect your old lady. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Yeah, I always expected Mark and Chrissy to be like together because they're the only ones that fucking matter in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning they're probably the only ones alive. Were you going the wrong way? Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. Oh, I'm going totally the way. going the yeah. wrong way. That is another reason why this game is really bad. Uh, the map system is retarded. You can kind of tell from the way the pa the paths are pointed. Yeah. You what you have to do is you kind of have to walk a little bit and then stop and pause and realize where you're going to really understand like how to get anywhere. When I first started playing this game uh, back in high school to see if I could beat it, it was one of the most conflicting, like, difficulting things. Oh, it's Laura. Nobody cares about Laura. It doesn't matter. Jason's here. Yeah, yeah. Jason's fuck here. Fuck your shit up. Yeah. The fuck this nigga? Is this is this dude out? Yeah. Hey, it's like goat. Oh, shit. Oh, the goat came out to fucking... The, the goat goats. came to support us. <laughs> Woo! The, gore, the goat the believes gore. in you. Oh, the yeah. Gore. The goat wanted to take the a picture. Yeah. Wanted to come say hi to Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Don't get, come back. Get go, back to the good, go home. <laughs> you see, I told you you wanted a farm. <laughs> Look, I oh. love the goat, and that's about it. <laughs> it's a goat farm, it is. <laughs> no. Goat farm, yeah, dude. During the day, also, uh, if you notice, if I ever went into a cabin, I don't know if you saw it. The floors are all always like neo turf green. I don't know why they're like that. Oh, kick his oh, ass! Kill him! Kick his ass! Ooh, kill him! All right, come here. He should be coming back. I hope. If I try to make him fast, make him fast enough. Okay, never mind. Sometimes he does show up in random houses after you fight him like that on the street. The next uh, cabin that's uh, after that, he will go into sometimes. So like I a always, little biatch. Yeah, so I always want to go and check. I don't need that. You still have oh. six cures, so you're doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but now they're starting throwing shit at him. Oh. oh, please don't grab that. I'm gonna try and go under. Okay. I didn't know. How, yeah, I didn't know how big the hitbox was, so I was kind of afraid. So now it's just a lot of walking. Uh, another thing also is when you throw this, if you throw it on the ground, uh, zombies walk past it and can hurt themselves. Stupid zombies. Yeah, that's another thing as well that you can do. Children are being attacked. Do I want to save the children? <laughs> you have ten of them I left. mean, yeah, I, I should actually now because I have the torch and I can fight him, so I'm gonna go do that. No, but it's okay if you don't because there's you, you, have, you have a good stock of them left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time you can talk about children like that. Yeah. <laughs> if I talked like about children like that in a normal setting, I would probably get arrested. Yeah. Like we all would. We have, yeah. we have plenty of kids to spare, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to save them. You don't have to save danger. them. Let them get hacked away. Alright, alright, alright. They're a good decoy. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. Watch those jumps, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fucking risk uh, that one bar of life, even though I have it. Um, because then I'd have to use another cure, so I'm trying really, really hard. Alright, this way. What are those things? They're zombies. Oh, fuck. That They're sucks. zombies that are in water. The crow's gonna hit me. Water zombo. How, how, how do zombies jump Child, Child's dead. <sighs> Wait, I thought you had ten. Why is it five now? Because they're grouped together. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Alright, Jason. I mean, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez, Rick. All right, let's go. 
Did uh, me and Ricky yeah. ever t- yeah. tell you that we're actually gonna cosplay as Rick and Morty at Omicon this year? That's awesome. Oh, he didn't tell us. It's fucking yeah. silly. He's oh, dead. Fuck oh, fuck Oh, shit, you killed him. Jason's still alive and stronger than before. Wait, what? That's day one. That's day one? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's... All right. I finally get to see day two. You need more cures, though. No, I, I start off with full health. Oh. No. So now I can, as long as I like jump around so and you, just you get a good night's careful. sleep, even though there's zombies all over the place. It's Whatever, he's dead. The zombies don't go into the so, cabins. Oh, uh, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna show you um, the day two, or actually the day three Jason speed, uh, which is ridiculously fast. Oh, he's attacking one of the counselors. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, uh, save him, or try to anyway, because I'm gonna try not to die. Uh, he's really, really fast. Uh, like I said, you don't want to fight him in a cabin usually on these days because uh, he can kill you. Um, the pattern that Jason fights you in when you're in a cabin, you can actually time it um, and know exactly when to dodge and when not to dodge. Uh, like I said, on day two and three, he's so fast that um, it's impossible to dodge a second hit. You get hit at, no matter what. Mm. That's kind of lame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you uh, want to try to avoid him from the, the cabin. Hopefully it's day three speed and not day one speed, Jason, because it happens randomly on day two. Yeah, see, so he's just regular day one. Fuck your shit up. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Got this shit down to science. Dodge, dodge, oh. Dodge, dodge. Oh, dodge, man, you only have one dodge. Left. Dodge, dodge. See how he randomly speeds up like that? Yeah. yeah. That's day three, Jason. Damn. And like you can't you can't dodge that second hit. You get hit anyway. Yeah, dude, you're down on one cure, man. Yep. I'm gonna try and see if I can go get some more. Hopefully I don't kill myself or So end up. the only way you can get cures is random. Yes. Like, uh, there know. are spawn points. Oh fuck, I really hope that wasn't Jason. Okay, there are spawn points for cures, uh, but there's so many of them that uh, no person has ever, like, taken the time to actually show uh, where they show up. Yeah. So, um, a lot of the speedrunners uh, do know where it is, um, but they don't, like, show anybody else because it's just too tedious uh, to show, like, the whole map and exactly where each cure spawns at. Um, so, uh, what you do usually is by jumping up and down, you're creating an RNG system that spawns items uh, no matter what they are randomly. Uh, just by jumping, mm. so I completely get back, uh, like past the fact of wherever cures are normally and where they would spawn, and I would just despawn them into like just random nothingness by jumping. So, but like I said again, the bad part is is that you can randomly spawn items that you don't want, like knives and machetes, because you want to keep the torch and kill Jason. Oh. Yep. All right, where is he at? Motherfucker went all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to never on the left? Dude? Yeah, uh, he went all the way around um, and went over there instead of going towards the left. He just went to the right all the way up to the top and over. Because he's a punk. <laughs> yep. So now that he's in that circle, when, he, when I defeat him in that house, if I go to the right or to the left, it doesn't matter. Uh, he will show up randomly either on both sides. So... So you can kick his ass in one house and then just move on and kick his ass again. Yes, you can essentially do that if you have the, the timing correctly uh, and depending on where he is in a cabin. If he's on the main road, you can do that. Uh, if not, it's really, really hard. If you don't die, dude, you still only have the one cure jar. Yeah, okay. No, I should be fine. What's this one? Okay. Hey, oh, Debbie, what's up? Oh, you, got, you did get a second one. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't do some day three shit. Never mind. <laughs> damn it. Nice. Damn, oh, dude, dude, man. Jukes. Nice. He's so fast. Oh god. And he's clenching? just gonna like <laughs> I'm clenching. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, cheeks have never been tighter. You can do it, man. Kick his ass. Oh, do it, oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> He's oh, a punk, so... Andy. Come on! He's a punk, Andy. Got it. I got this. Still is one. <laughs> <laughs> no. He ain't, he ain't no raffle copter. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. oh nice. 
Do not do that again to right. get cures. Yeah, man. so I've got to go hopefully find cures. At least one until I find him in the streets. Ooh. Oh, that was very, very scary. Oh, shit, he's going to show up right now. I'm going to leave. I saw the, uh, it, but like I said, the screen stops. Uh, you can barely even see that one. Yeah, yeah, the screen stops scrolling automatically, and the zombies, if they're coming at you like that, will stop and turn around and go the other way. It's like, oh shit, Jason's coming up. Yeah, out. so they, they eventually just leave. So when you see that, uh, if you're at a place where there's like an up or down, uh, essentially you end up locked in that screen. But if you see something like this, you can press up and, and just keep going, and Jason doesn't follow. Cool. So... I'm gonna go to the woods, actually. Um, hopefully, I can find some cures in there. Into the oh, woods. Oh, children! I've got to go save the kids. I can't. <laughs> oh, fuck, why? Those little bastards. Right. Why can't kids save themselves? <laughs> <laughs> now, I might die here. Uh, let me see if I can find where... Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Because uh, you can... There's two entrances to the lake. Uh, but the thing is, is that if you pick the wrong one, you have to take a long way around the lake, and there's a bunch of zombies and fucking crows that pop up randomly. You can't die, uh, and crows, they will right? fuck your shit. No, yes, you can. You can. Uh, and uh, that happens also, where Jason just man. decides. Jason's a fucking strong to show swimmer. up. <laughs> Jason likes boats. Oh, oh okay. I okay. thought he was. I, yeah, I thought he was at the house. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he's cheating. He's drowning the kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Jason's a fucking cheater, dude. Oh, oh damn it. Alright, let's see if I can do this with one health. Let's oh, see. shit. Alright, come on. Let's go. He's got a little axe, dude. It looks like a toothbrush. It doesn't look like a toothbrush. <laughs> it looks like this. Brush your teeth. Yeah. yeah, dude, he's just trying to help the kids. And help them against Jim Jovitis. Yeah, I was about to say that. He's so fast. Yeah, he's too fast. The real villain is Jim Jovitis. It's Chrissy's turn. And actually, so, this actually might be it because I think I don't. I only have three kids left. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Let me see if I can save them really quick. You got this, buddy. It's fine if, like, uh, since I have so much health, I can sacrifice, like, fighting him with rocks. The thing is that the, at this point, with as many, like, as little kids as I have, uh, I have to fight him because I don't want my kid, my kids to die. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why do people even have kids? They just get in the way. And die. It seems like, right? <laughs> when you're fucking fighting Jason. Purple jumpsuit, Jason. I don't want to fucking worry about it's not no bad. Uh, another thing but... also is this game is really iconic. They sell a lot of merchandise from this game specifically. And actually Rocks. recently, um, you could buy the Jason figurine where he looks exactly like the Jason in the video game. He wears like a bluish mask with like a purple jumpsuit. Uh, you can also buy his bluish mask, uh, and like the, the the case that it comes in is like the the backdrop for this game and stuff. It's pretty, cool. pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. I would totally actually, like, uh, wasn't it you who recently posted on Facebook that uh, they kickstarted that's good? Yes, or... actually, uh, they kickstarted a Friday the Thirteenth oh, video yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I saw that. With Kane Hodder, who was one of the first original uh, people who played Jason. Um, it was actually, it's been 14 years. Oh yeah, he's doing the mocap, right? Yes, uh, it's been 14 years since he's played the role of Jason, uh, and they got him on for the game, so it's gonna be really, really awesome. Um, another thing to note also, if you don't know much about that game, uh, that game is gonna be focused solely on multiplayer, uh, where one person plays Jason and seven people play the camp counselors. No way! Uh-huh. So essentially, the seven people have to team up and, you know, try to survive. Or with, not. Uh, yeah. Or not. Uh, and uh, have the, um, <laughs> survive the night from Jason. There's no kids or anything like that as far as I'm concerned. Or as far as I know. Um, another thing also. Uh, as far as you're concerned. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, there's no kids in <laughs> yeah, that game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I mean, like, in this game, as far as I'm concerned, kids don't exist. I mean, <laughs> um, so, uh. Uh, one thing that they had uh, kickstarted recently or that they had uh, got enough to donate uh, was the original plan was not to focus so much on single player, but that it was to be multiplayer. Um, so now uh, they've donated enough so that a single player mode will be in the game. Uh -huh. And the single player involves you being Jason and killing off camp counselors. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was listening to one of the guys who was like in charge of the, the things talk about it on this... Uh this uh, news show that I watch on YouTube, and he was saying like, like we're trying to make the game as like sandbox as possible. Yeah. So they were saying like, like I think it has like a random generator 
like this one. So like, you don't know where you're gonna spawn, if you're gonna all be together, or if you're all gonna be like in random parts of the map. You don't know what you're gonna spawn near. You could get like cars and boats and stuff to try to like get away. Uh, you can be a complete asshole and just keep everything that you want to yourself. Perfect and, like, Jason. And, and fuck everyone else. You can team up with people, it's like, okay, we're gonna team up and then we're gonna like steal these people, the, the other counselor's stuff, and then we're gonna take off and like live. Because the, the only goal that you have as a camp counselor is live. You don't care about anyone else. Yeah. And Jason obviously needs to kill everybody, so he doesn't care. Sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Can, yeah. yeah. Can you get the torch again? Uh, I'm going to try to and see if I can do it. Um, I'm not relatively sure if I can. I've never tried it because essentially what ends up happening that I've seen is that it doesn't. It happens at random when it can. Uh, most people will just start using Chrissy and going to light all the, the cabins. Uh, but like I said, it takes a long time to do that. Uh, right now I have all the criteria to meet to make sure a torch pops up, so I'm going to go try that right now. Hopefully we can get it. <laughs> he knows we're playing this shitty game and he's like, I'm just, I can't take it anymore, guys. I'm trying to help you all. Stop! Okay, so I'm gonna go here. So what are you gonna do if you can't find the... I have to go light all the cabins in the woods. Or... Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, fuck Chrissy. Yep. Right? Yep. I hate it when that happens. Paul. God damn. I hate it when that happens. Like I said again, this game is very RNG based. Uh, I think I've played this game uh, like correctly and doing this about a hundred times and I've only beaten it about five or six. So because of the fact that like that happens. And actually if you watch speedrunners do this, they die a lot like this too. Um, it's very rare that you see a speedrunner go through a game and it be completely perfect. Uh, they did a thing at uh, Awesome Games Done Quick, I think it was year 2010, where somebody speed ran this game and got extremely lucky and actually got the world record on stream. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It was pretty awesome. But like, the thing is, is this game is just so RNG that it doesn't really matter. Um, now I can try one more time to see if I can beat it, uh, cause I know where there's press for time, I don't want to be, you know, doing this for like two more hours or anything. <laughs> um, cause I mean essentially what you're seeing right now is the game, there's nothing else, like even the ending, there's nothing really different. You kill Jason, uh, with the torch, uh, the ending tells you that you you're finally dead, killed Jason. No, when you beat the game, <laughs> oh yeah, that's what happens. You, you wasted you, your life you, playing you, this game. You beat the you beat the game, and it's just like, oh, but your friends are dead. You're dead. Yeah. Um. So essentially, uh, what happens is, is when you beat Jason on the third day, a screen pops up with Jason on the ground with his legs out, and it says, "You finally defeated Jason." Uh, thank you for playing the game, and Jason is finally dead, and it's like, or is he? Dot, 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 <laughs> and that's the end of the game. So I, I don't I don't necessarily have to play this until I beat it because there's not really anything different that you'll see. You'll just see me doing this a lot, and that's about it. But uh, I really really enjoy playing this game. This is one of my favorite games to play. Um, I have a really really bad habit of liking really really shitty games, <laughs> uh, especially when it comes to classics. Uh, my favorite one of my favorite Sega games is actually Sonic Spinball. Um, uh, which is like one of the worst games ever made for the Sega. That game is really, really bad. Why would you even say that sentence? Uh, it is really, really terrible. Um, a lot of people that are into Sonic don't even consider that like a Sonic game. They're, they just completely shun it. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna try one more time here. Uh, this is the man, your last this chance. Is, this is the last chance. chance. I'm gonna try and see if I Fifth can do this. Fifth time's the charm? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, dude, this is your, your one chance, this man. Is, this your, is my your time one to opportunity shine. to seize everything you ever wanted. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti, dude. Yeah. Capture Mom's it or spaghetti. let it slip. Yeah. Mom's, <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, good, yeah. start. Good, good start. Good start. Yeah. Good start. Good shit. 
But yeah, see how I, I really like how in the beginning when I started doing all of these things, you guys were like, what the <laughs> fuck is he fucking doing? <laughs> and now and, we know. Yeah, now we know and now that. you know what's going on. And now so, it's half the battle. Yeah. And now and we understand the meta. Even <laughs> when I when I start having like a good start, you guys are like, oh, good start, good start. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just, we're just like, what? Stop jumping. Yeah, why, are you, why are you jumping a lot? I don't understand. What's the matter? When you, was, when you were jumping all over the place, I literally thought you were just testing the controls. Yeah. <laughs> I thought and you were trying to rock. Waffle copper. Yeah. Waffle <laughs> 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 copper. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh goddammit. it. Oh. But yeah, um, I really, really, really want to play uh, the uh, the new Friday the Thirteenth game. It's gonna be really, really awesome. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. For I it. am extremely excited. And like, there's a bunch of like really giant horror icons that are in. You know what? This is actually a really good run too because they started with children and not a counselor. Oh yeah, fuck the children. Yeah, so <laughs> you're like children first. <laughs> and you, you you met the criteria. You got everything. Yeah, in. I've already got everything. So, so it's just like the movie, man. Like, yeah. You know, like, Starts with the kids. You don't pay attention to the kids. Yeah. They, they die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's I a good run. Luckily, they went for the children first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the counselors were too busy making love. <laughs> Um, Is that the words they use they brought, in, the, in the movie? Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've seen it, so... Um, it's actually really awesome, the new Friday the 13th game that's coming out. Um, they're actually bringing a lot of uh, really big horror icons, like Sam Raimi. Um, and uh, I believe uh, John Carpenter as well is going to be... Uh, dipping his hands in the game, so... It's gonna be really, really awesome. For those horror buffs out there, um, it's gonna be a really, really awesome game to play. And I don't feel that it's gonna do... Like, it's gonna do... Uh, the name Justice, so... Un unlike this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. But uh, yeah, so far this is a really good run. I already have two cures. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get more before I get the torch. If not, that's fine. I don't really, really focus on that. You know, I, I hate looking at Kickstarters, because... The further I scroll down, the further, like, the more I the think more to myself. <laughs> no, the more I think to myself, like, man, I wish I was rich. <laughs> <laughs> all this shit sounds so cool. Yeah. Like, like I, I want to be in the movie and go to the, re the <laughs> release party. <laughs> like, but that's, you know, $2,000 I don't have. <laughs> I remember when um, Demon the Descent uh, started its oh, Kickstarter. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, I think one of the one of the prizes is like yeah, they'll come uh, and they'll. Uh, Demon: The Descent is a World of Darkness uh, expansion book, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get to play as a, as a demon or whatever from hiding from the God Machine, whatever, whatever. And uh, it's whatever, a, it's whatever. A, yeah, you all understand. It, it, it's a tabletop <laughs> RPG yeah. where you pretend to be a wizard or whatever. And um, it's awesome. <laughs> or whatever. I don't and, even know uh, what it is, but it sounds fun already. And um, so uh, one of the goals that you could meet or whatever, if you donated like five thousand dollars, the yeah, it was really. Awesome. The maker of Demon the Descent would come and five of, and like I think five or six of your friends would be able to go or like like he would he would gain he would your GM. GM he would storytell uh, for one of your games yeah That's super rad yeah so like um and and like well, uh, he would also uh, possibly uh, make you dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a possibility. That's possibility. great. Actually, one thing I noticed about the uh, Kickstarter in uh, Friday Thirteenth. The last one was you get to go to the party, like the release yeah, party or whatever. Party. If you look at the bottom, it's like uh, lodging and um, airfare. Yeah. Airfare not provided. Yeah, yeah. That, that happens a lot. <laughs> so it's like, happens. oh, cool. $10,000 plus my own lodging. <laughs> well, I, I mean, come on, you can afford $10,000 to donate. What's you, another 10 grand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not going to cost exactly. 10 grand to, to, for yeah. travel. I, I guess that, that's fair. That, that's fair. You know, like, that's. But. I mean, you know. There's Jason. Hey, buddy, what's up? Man, you got the torch so fast, I didn't even notice. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Show him his ass. There he is. Oh, fire, bitch. Burn his balls. No, he's, he's the one trying to get rid of you now, man. Uh, get him! He's gonna show. He's gonna up. come back. Oh, get him! Don't burn his oh, balls off! Oh, oh, go! Uh, I can't. Oh, oh no! Come on, yeah! Oh. Oh. Mm. Some of that. It's day one, dude. I should it's have bought one. the rum. <laughs> <laughs> Victory rum. 
Let's you should see. check your cures. I have uh, absolutely oh. no. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There's a cure option there. Is that just like so you can use? So your what cures? happens? What happens is you're able to cure other camp counselors. So if other camp like there's a camp counselor getting attacked right now, I have no idea who it is. Um, but uh, what happens is if they get health taken away from them, you can use one of the cures that you have oh, and that. heal up a camp counselor. Camp counselor. Yeah, exactly. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't use any of the other camp counselors, so it doesn't matter to me. So I just hold all of them to myself and because I'm a greedy bastard. Because so. Andy knows how to play the game. Exactly. Oh. Ooh, that was scary. All right. Hey man, if I'm not gonna like carry their weight, don't save them. Yeah. Fuck them. We're not gonna hey, save it's, them. It's a dirty game, man. You gotta play dirty to win it. Exactly. Yeah. It's life. That's Kill life. Be killed. Yep. Okay. Hey Debbie. That's What's up? Debbie. Here we go. With speed. Damn. So we're on day two, right? This is day two, and he's doing day three speed. I'm gonna wait for him to see if he slows down. I'm sorry, I like his little punches. There he is, he slowed down, kick his ass! Oh shit, I missed. Okay. No, you yeah, didn't miss, good. but you just got hit. Got sucker punched. Sucker punch! This... Everything's got real tense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is really, really tense. Uh, <laughs> you feel it in the air. Everybody gets quiet, we want him to, to beat this shit. The music. We can actually hear the music. Yeah, I forgot to hear Yeah, fuck that guy. You didn't hit it. You definitely need cures now. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to like jump all over the place. I'm gonna try and go to the forest. Usually the forest and the cave have a lot of them for some reason. Oh god. Uh, no, I, don't do I it. really wanna Oh! Let me see, let me see. Hold on. I can I can I can do this. I can redo this. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Alright. Give me that fucking key! What the hell? You can't grab that one. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. no, one you want to. It's like, oh yeah, you can get this knife even though you didn't touch it. Alright. So I have key. Alright, we'll go back to the to the footage. Did you touch it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> There's gonna be the ominous ellipses. Yeah. <laughs> Did he? Did Andy touch the knife? Okay. Om ellipses. Yeah. Om ellipses. Yeah. All right. Let me see here. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Do 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 do. The soundtrack is so good. That was <laughs> that was one thing Angry Video Game Nerd got wrong was that the soundtrack was so awesome. <laughs> It's really not. It's really not. Three hours later. Okay, let me see if I can go. You know what? I could probably get the axe, and the axe is not bad. So I could do that. But it's not the torch, man. Yeah, the torch the torch definitely does help, but the axe is still really good as well. It does better than the machete. I haven't seen this pitchfork you've spoken of once. Like, I, uh, the pitchfork I can get on this day, but I have to fight Jason's mom, which, oh, fuck that. Fuck his mom. Yeah, that shit is extremely hard to do. I will That's probably fun. die in a really, really bad, fast manner. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's worth it. It's not. But you can get the pitchfork, I've seen it a bunch of times. And it goes, it goes through enemies as well, too, so... That's another thing. So if there's like three zombies lined up like that, you can shoot the pitchfork and it goes through the first. You piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> he just decided that he was gonna turn left at that point in time. Oh god! Oh. Mm. No. no! Fuck! Go away! Okay, I got this. Don't spawn in front of me, please, God. Give me a cure. Fuck it, please, RNG. Like, give me the goddamn Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> He's really trying to keep his word. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you, Andy. Me too. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I know. I know. I knew you would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never seen day two, so I'm not. <laughs> I didn't know there was a day two. I was promised a uh, finished game. A finished. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe if Andy doesn't finish it, that means he just needs to come back yeah, again. Yeah, you might yeah. have to come back. I might have to come back. 
and beat this game. Ominous ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> Andy was defeated. Ominous or was, was he? Was he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how this episode should end. Yeah. <laughs> <That's not weird. laughs> I, I, I guarantee you I don't think I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try and go to the forest and see if I can find cures. Don't you need to save the children? Don't you only have like- Fuck the left? children, Yeah, dude. fuck them. Wait, I can find out how many I have. I have ten, I'm fine. Uh, fuck, fuck those yeah. five. Fuck those five. Yeah. And the, moment, the moment it gets to five is when I have to worry. Because if he, if they get to- they, they start off at fifteen, every time Jason goes he always takes five kids. So the first time he goes he'll take five, give you ten. Second time he goes, he'll give you five. And if you have five left, he goes, he kills the children, it's over. This game's fucking dark. If you really think about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I rarely, you know, see games where they kill children. This game's got 15 <laughs> kids. Yeah, dying. Dying. Like, five at a time. <laughs> like, go bigger, go Imagine home. the gruesome. Yeah, go bigger, like, go yeah home. take today's graphics and imagine the gruesome scene that yeah. would be. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Another thing also is um, a lot of people really, really, uh, the reason why a lot of people um, get really confused and hate this game is because oh. they don't understand what's going on. Um, once you really figure out what's going on in the game and how to beat it and what, you know, criteria you need to meet in order for things to happen, the game becomes really, really fun to play. Yeah, I gotta say, it is much more interesting even just to watch knowing what you're doing now. Yeah. And not just walking around throwing Throwing MCs. random yeah. rocks randomly. And, and hence why, like I told you, when I watched Game Grumps play this, I was <laughs> extremely frustrated. <laughs> They we were just you. like, we love you, we love you, Aaron we love you, Aaron and Dan. But man, <laughs> and honestly, I wish they would go back to it because they only have two episodes of that, and that was like one of the, my favorite series was the Friday the Thirteenth. It made me laugh a lot. So, you guys, if they if they're watching this somewhere out there, they need to go back to that game somehow. That game and, and Mario Maker, please. Play more of Ross's games, because that shit is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my god, I love Anything it. that I watch, I, I'm sorry, but anything that I watch Aaron rage over <laughs> is the funniest thing ever. Not, not one even, of, not one even. One of my favorite uh, Game Grumps animated was the Battle Kid. Battle was Kid animated. was the best! Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. My favorite thing- Red plant, <laughs> blue plant, purple, purple plant. plant. My favorite thing about Mario Maker was Dan's rage. <laughs> you don't see Dan rage. Yeah, that's often. actually very true. So when yeah. like when he was actually getting like legitimately pissed and angry, his suffering was just so great. Yeah, it was really really <laughs> funny. You're such an asshole. It was so uh, yeah, good. It's like in Guild Grumps though. Like I don't know if you ever saw that. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah like. Mm. Uh, like he like you could genuinely see like his frustration throughout that too. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's from lack of sleep though, dude. Yeah, frustration's frustration is frustration. a hard worker. Yeah. Yeah. And we love him for it. Oh, oh right dude. over you. That sucks. He dropped All the right. knife though. No, I don't wanna I can try to do this with Chrissy. This is your last try, man. You yeah, do, this is this is my last you, try. Do or you die, man. Yep. Do it, do it, Lars! I, oh god, I don't- Oh god, buddy! Another thing also is uh, zombies uh, start spawning more when it's- there's dusk. Uh, when it's dusk, there's two. When it's nighttime, they spawn three. And during the daytime, it's just one. Um, so it becomes relatively- another thing you could do to it keep them- It seems a little from, faster. Yeah, another thing you could do also to keep them from respawning is this. Just having them, having them on the screen at all times uh, will keep them from spawning. Mm. Um, Kung Fu Master. Yeah. As long as you have them on the screen and they're like following you, they won't spawn in front of you. So, so. I see a pass option. Can you pass over your... You can pass over, uh, yes, you can pass over, um, uh, your Weapon. uh, weapons. Yes, to other camp counselors. So, when you were dying with what's-his-face... With Mark? Wouldn't that have been a good idea to give it to her? It would have been, but the thing is, is I got the knife when I did, when I had the torch. So uh, if I had, I would have had to have made it all the way over to where she was and yeah, give it to her. Right. Yeah, right. a lot of times, like a lot of things that you think would be like necessary and would be good to do, really aren't because they waste so much time. Yeah, and like you don't want to have an enc a special encounter with like Jason in a cabin or something, especially on this day or in day oh, three. Oh, you're the last one. Yeah. So let's see if I can grab this paper. Okay, they just decided not to have the- Oh wait, I don't even have shit. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta jump- Oh god, day three. Or, this is night. No, this is like- There's- day there's two. three- There's three, like- Oh shit. There's three things of, like, each day. There's, like, uh, 
day, day dusk, dusk, and, and night. night. Yeah. yeah. So also, it's just gonna stay night permanently? Yeah, it stays win. night permanently until you win. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Fucking crow. crow, god! Give me things, game! Come on! <laughs> Listen, now that you have nothing, nothing is spawning. Yeah, it happens. The game was like, dude, I gave you everything at the beginning. What the fuck do you want me yeah, to do? Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's another thing about this game. It's, it's very, very yeah. like, it, it's, it does not care about you at all whatsoever. <laughs> it's almost spiteful. Yeah, it's very, very <laughs> spiteful. Yeah, RNG. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I might be dead if he hits me twice. Grox takes so, like, do so little damage oh. to him. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's it. I'm gonna have to come back and redo this. Uh, I might actually first. go ahead and uh, go home and practice a little bit more. Um, I, uh, I didn't have, I didn't have time. Uh, the moment that uh, you got, uh, Jimmy told me that you guys wanted me on, I played for maybe about a day or two, and before that, I hadn't played in months, so yeah. it was very, very like I was. I'm still really rusty, but that's pretty much the gist of the game. You just do that until Jason dies. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode with our, our good friend Andy Goss. Andy, thank you, thank you guys so much for having AKA me. AKA Wafflecopter. Check him out on his uh, SoundCloud. Yeah. We'll if, if we remember to put that link. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. It was awesome. And, it was uh, and now we're gonna celebrate at the brewery. Yeah. yeah. And next time on the next time at the Gamers Brewery, uh, more stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, be expecting actually. Uh, be expecting some. I uh, hope you enjoyed the new stuff this week, and expecting more of that later on. If you liked Andy on our show, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> yeah, and tell us if you liked him, so we can continue to bring him back. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll bring great. him back. Maybe Unless you hated him, and then yeah, then, Fuck we'll, you, and then, and then I won't come back ever. <laughs> we'll yeah, stop being his friend. Hated him. <laughs> I mean, he did show up with Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, right. guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Ominous ellipses. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh.